Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have this combination lock here. It works like one kind of like in real life and a sheep farm that gives you wool. As you can see in the chest. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the code and when the code is right, it opens the door. And you can change the code to whatever you want it to be. Depending on how many tor torches are on the back of the levers. Okay. So, let's get on with this. For the combination lock, you'll need 12 levers. About 16 redstone depends on how much you're doing. 24 blocks of your choice and one pickaxe. So, you will need to get, place blocks all along the bottom there. And then we actually need to get rid of that chest and put it over here for now. But, go from one of the side corners and then go up one, two, three blocks. You can now just fill in that whole area. And now you, you need to put down your levers. Put all of your six levers at the bottom there, and then go skip a block, and then rest of your levers up there. Now, behind the levers, put the torches where you, what you want your code to be. So I'm going to do that for my code. So when all of it's flicked, it'll open. Okay, now you have to connect redstone to all of the torches. And you also need a few more blocks just to put up there. And just a few blocks just right there so it can connect up there. Then you just come up here and then put redstone connecting to all the torches up on the upper level. And then you just have to come down here and get your redstone and put it all the way to where your bottom redstone is. Once you've done that, you can get one last block, put it there, and put a torch on the side of that one. You'll n notice that it is inverted, which means it doesn't give power. So this is the layout, memorize it if you want, whatever. Now, come over here. And we have these levers that, so when we flick them, you'll s notice that those also become inverted. And when they are inverted, uh, all of them are inverted, then there's no current going through the top or bottom level, which turns that torch on, which you can run into a door. Now for the sheep farm. You will need six iron blocks, four grass, one sheep, one observer, one redstone dust, one dr dispenser, four glass, one pickaxe, one rail, one hopper, and one hopper minecart. So we'll start by putting a hopper there, rail there, and on top of that rail, we will need to put our hopper minecart. Now, we can just put blocks in front of the hopper minecart so it doesn't fall off the tracks. Just like that. Now, you have all that. You can come up here. Now you get your observer and go on the other side, put it like that. Now, so the face is facing the minecart, and then put your dispenser on top of that, like that. Put grass in front of the observer, put one in front of that grass block that you just placed, and then put two to the side, like that. You should have kind of like a plus shape then. So, then you put blocks of your choice in the corner. And once they're in the corner, you can just fill in the rest and then put glass like that. 
Now you can just break those blocks that you place up there and the corner things at the bottom. Because you don't need those. Speed it up for you. Cool, after that. Um, you're almost done actually. You just need to come up here and come down and place a block on the other side of the observer. Now, place your redstone there. Now you're going to need your sheep. Just put it right in the center there. You also need some shears. So, shear the sheep. And you need to be very quick about this because the sheep will want to eat the grass, but you put it in the dispenser. You also don't need that block there, so yeah. Cool. That's done. The sheep is all tucked in up there. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Again, thanks for watching, and goodbye.